Hello, I'm Michael Walton, and welcome to this instructional film for the basics of computer. In this film, we will cover setting up your computer, upgrading your computer, proper computer positioning, and the future of computing. Computers, they're the future of this world, and they can do almost anything you want them to. From adding numbers to automating an entire workforce, these machines can practically do it all. What's even more incredible is that you can own one of these machines and use it in your home. Say hello, Duncan. He's going to be your personal computer hotshot. To start things off, we need to set up our computer. To do this, we need a clean, organized computing environment. Ah, oh, that looks much better. Having a clutter-free, organized workspace will help you be comfortable while using your computer. Although specially made computer monitors are available, Duncan is taking full advantage of this colored computer by connecting it to his television set. Before we can do anything, we must get to know our computer. Go ahead, Duncan. Say hello. Don't be shy. Allowing your computer to be aware of you and its surrounding is a very important step. You wouldn't want it to feel out of its comfort zone. Granted, computers can be very expensive, and sometimes shopping rummage sales or getting hand me down computers is a good way to get yourself a machine. It may not be the latest or greatest, but you'll still be able to do many things with any computer. The computer Doug has here. It is a little on the old side, but it can, and it can use some upgrading. Let's take a peek at what Duncan is installing now. So what are we doing here, Duncan? Well, I've taken the motherboard out of this computer, and I'm going to upgrade it. This computer is an older model and only has 64 kilobytes of storage. The, the expansion will add an astounding 512 additional kilobytes of storage. So what are you going to do with all those new computers, or whatever you call them? Well, you never know when you're going to need to store something Big. Now let's go ahead and pop our new machine, Duncan. Okay, Mike. <laughs> well, it looks like you goofed up somewhere, Duncan. I think I found the problem. What tinfoil? <laughs> Whoops. If you do decide to upgrade your computer, remember to keep track of the tools you're using. You won't want to leave them behind and cause an electrical shortage, <laughs> like we just saw here. And if you're not comfortable with working on your own computer, remember there's always a certified technician available. If your upgrades were successful, now all you have to do is put the components back into their enclosure. As computers get faster and stronger, the ways you can use them widen as well. One of the new technologies on the rise is the internet. It enables your computer to talk to others and share data back and forth. Yo, Jimmy, come over here. Duncan, what's up? I'm connected to Robert's computer down the street. I'm chatting with him right now. Sounds like some kind of witchcraft to me. It's called the internet. The internet? That sounds like something I could sink my teeth into. Make it, maybe it could be like the good old days and we could use it to take a bite out of crime. Maybe, just maybe.